It's not quite as funny um, because, uh, you know, he was posting all these fight videos and then someone on Twitter at the time said, um, hey, you should fight Zuck. And I said, well, I'm willing to fight if he, if he is. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then Zuck posted, uh, I think on Instagram or something, uh, name the place or something, something like that effect. And I was like, okay, how about the Vegas Octagon? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, um, and then uh, Italy actually was willing to let us use the Coliseum. So then I was like, well, let's can't turn that down, you know. Um, and then, um, but then, and then I was like, well, if it's going to be in the Coliseum, we, you know, we're not like I like UFC and everything, but we we don't have like tons of ads and, and UFC branding on the Coliseum because it's a historical, you know, play. It's a history, you know, it's a place right. of great history. You you, you don't want to. Right. Just to uh, you know, have it be all like NASCAR, right? Um, so so then, um, and then Zuck Zuck pulled out. You know, use the pull out method. Um, so he pulled out. <laughs> of it. He pulled out of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the narrative? What'd you hear, Jamie? I don't remember. Well, well I, I listen. Know you did. I, I, I'm willing to. I, I, so he was like, "Oh no, it's got to be UFC rules." I'm like, "Well." Okay, we're gonna have U.S. City rules in the Coliseum. It's fine, but we just don't want to have. We gotta respect the historical integrity of the place. You just uh, the Coliseum just seems like the coolest place to do it. Yeah. That's why. I mean, yeah, you're like Gladiator, course. you know. I mean, oh yeah, come on. And if they said uh, it's okay, yeah. So he just wants it to be in the actual UFC, like in Vegas. Yeah, so so then he said, oh well, you know, uh, I, he accused me of not, not not being serious, and I said, look, listen, at the end of the day, if I'll fight you any place, anywhere, under any rules. Who? Zuck. Uh, that's what I said. Wow. So, so I'm, you know, name the. Is he? He said name the place. I'm like, I'm. If I'm happy to fight him in a house on a mouse with a louse, <laughs> we'd like go full Doctor Seuss here. Now, um, how much time? <laughs> how I'm, much I'm time a way bigger than you, him. This is unfair. I know you. I don't think you should fight me um, because, because you're would, so much bigger than him. Yeah, I'm like fifty percent bigger than him. Yeah. I'll just use a wall. I've got my patented walrus move. I just lie on him. <laughs> well, you know, like it, Walrus doesn't need martial arts training, right? Because <laughs> it's really big. Right. You don't want to go wrestling a Walrus, right? Because he's gonna roll on you. Have you ever been ever rolled with someone who's much smaller than you that does jujitsu? Yes. You Lex. Yeah. 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 No, I I did yeah. train as martial arts. Um, how much have you trained personally? I did for a decade of it. Well, you did a lot of uh, karate, right? Uh, I did uh, judo. Judo, kai, shinkai, karate. Yeah. Um, I did some jujitsu, taekwondo, um, street fighting, which I was involuntary. Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I think I'd be decent. I did, I did martial arts competitions when I was a teenager. Really interesting. Yeah. So look at you, George Saint Pierre, Elon, yeah, John I mean, Donaher, like, the Great Master, and Lex Friedman. But like, like Lex is a. Uh, I think he's got like twenty percent heavier than Zuck. So, and I'm yeah. way bigger than Lex. Yeah, that's why they have weight categories. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did you get a chance to talk to Donaher at all? The guy on the left. Yeah, that guy's uh, fascinating. Yeah, no, no. He's. Do you know his history? No, I, he's from New Zealand or something. He was a professor of philosophy at Columbia. Okay. And fell in love with jujitsu. Okay. I mean, fell in love with it to the point where he was sleeping on the mats and teaching all day long. He's an obsessive. He is uh, a real Kaizen disciple. And he seems all, Zen. Oh, man. He is one of the most unique characters I've ever met in my life. Yeah. One of the most brilliant men I've ever met. And he's completely dedicated to jujitsu. And he has raised through this, particularly this one disciple, Gordon Ryan, who also lives here in Austin. He's the greatest jujitsu competitor of all time. Yeah. There's no question. And he's only 28. Okay. He might even be 27. Or maybe he's 28 now. But, I mean, he is universally regarded as the greatest of all time. And he is John's greatest student. Okay. And the two of them together, because Gordon has insane work ethic, they work 365 days a year. They do mm -hmm. not take any days off. They train every day. That's Gordon to the right of John with the, the crazy beard. He doesn't really have that hair. He bleaches it. But the two of them together are literally an unstoppable combination. I like Alex ripped. He's pretty ripped. Yeah, he's a combination of gigantic, brilliant, and insanely dedicated with the most incredible instructor that's ever existed. I mean, John Donaher is universally regarded as the greatest jiu-jitsu instructor alive. And his student is universally regarded as the greatest jiu-jitsu competitor alive. Yeah. And it is because John is like a complete 
ab- like a guy out of a superhero book. Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't, you, you're not going to find another one of those. A guy yeah. with a genius level IQ who's one of. The, I mean, you talk to him; he's fascinating, and he mm-hmm. is obsessed with combat sports, warfare, like th- like strategy. Yeah, brilliant guy. Yeah, brilliant. But no, guy. See, I I was impressed when I met him. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the things that like. Uh, if, if I was fighting someone who I was not – where I was not much bigger than them, then I would be more concerned. <laughs> um, How but, much time uh, would you need to prepare? I don't need any time. No time at all? No. How's your cardio? No, it's not it, – that will not be a factor. Really? Yeah. Very well. <laughs> I, I mean – What's the likelihood of this actually <laughs> happening? I like. I'm willing to do it any time, anywhere, any place, any role. Well, I think this, stating it this way might yeah. accelerate this process, Great. especially on this platform. I mean, I I, I challenge him to a duel under any circumstances. A sword fight? Sure. Jesus, that's not necessary. pistols at dawn. That's not necessary. I think physical hand. Nerf guns at noon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nerf guns at noon. Well, you could you could slash it out in the metaverse. But uh, in, yeah. In the real world. I, listen, I, it, it, there's there's just a reason they have weight categories, yeah. you know. Um, so, uh, you know, I, there, there's a a friend of mine who is pretty good at fighting, um, but she weighs she weighs about half of what I do, and um, and I said, let me let me show you why there's weight categories in in fighting. Mm. And I'm going to do a move called the Walrus, and and you have to just I'm just going to lie on you. I'm not going to put you in a lock or anything. I'm just going to lie on you. But I'm I'm gonna, you know, position myself such that it's hard to get off get out from under me, mm-hmm. and I just want to lie crossways on you, and and you you try to get a, get away, and you won't be able to get away, because you couldn't. Just you, you know, like like if a horse falls on you, right? You can get trapped under a horse. Right, but you're not a horse. What do you weigh? About two thirty? <laughs> yeah, two two forty. Yeah. Yeah. So no no I'm not a horse but I'm saying in the limit if something's heavy enough like you know if if, if if a horse falls in you and dies you can get trapped under a horse and not be able to get yourself out right but if someone's good enough I mean if, I'm sure you've seen like absolute weight classes in jujitsu where you'll get a 145 pound competitor who strangles a 220 pound competitor and they're both well trained because if uh, someone is that that's good, unlikely it's not unlikely it happens quite often. Okay. When you get elite competitors, when you get elite competitors, like elite yeah. black belts at the 145, 155 pound weight limit, you'd be shocked. There's a ton of videos okay. of these guys who will strangle much larger black belts. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just not highly unlikely. 